and this is no one's going to believe you. I'm going to tell you this thing, and you're going to go, eh, Mike, you don't know what he's talking about. <clears throat> they say, well, what was he like? This is quiet, shy, introvert, mm. very well-mannered. I believe it. You know, but everybody else says, I don't believe it. That's not what I'm seeing in the music. That's not mm. what I'm hearing. All I'm saying to you is that his art, as it came out of him, is what you're seeing the poetry part of it. I'm just going to talk about poetry, which I know nothing about. <clears throat> I walk into a room. He's there. He says to me, oh, you got to read this great poetry book, some known poetry book. I'm thinking, hey, dude, this is Mike over here. What are you talking about poetry? I'm into, you know, being masculine. You know, me and I'm being silly, but... I'm going, what the hell are you even talking about? Poetry? Who the hell are you thinking? What? Poetry? But he was way into that. And what Bob Dylan was writing was heavy, heavy, heavy poetry. What Jimmy's writing when he's talking about um, Wind Cries Mary or, mm -hmm. you know, all those kind of songs where, you know, he's talking about you can see happiness staggering on down the street. Footprints dressed in red. He's telling a story from his point of view. In his mind, he's talking about this. And he knows that this is like very shocking to the society. Meaning I'm on the phone with him once. I'm calling him from New York. I mean, I'm in New York with him. I'm calling Tony and... I'm saying, what about this? What about that? We do our business that we had to do at that moment. And I say, uh, Tony sends her regards or her love or whatever. And Jimmy says, tell her I'll meet her in the next world and don't be late. Meaning this is Jimmy. This is in his song. But he's living in another place that you and I can't imagine. Right. You get a clue of it by his music. And you say, oh, this is some cool place. <clears throat> but back to sort of the beginning. Yeah, uh, talking about his personality, I, personally, some of the most talented people that I know or have ever met have been very socially awkward and introverted like that. I wouldn't say he's socially awkward. I would just say introverted, quiet, shy, mm. um, very well-mannered, and... He knows how to get through a situation, whatever it is. Mm. Meaning, you know, in his hotel room in downtown Tampa in the Sheridan, there's a paper bag on the, you know, little table there. I didn't think anything of it. You know, we're doing the clothes and we're taking the order and this and that. And, and this is at the first time we're meeting him and I say... Oh, uh, let's figure out your size. Try these pants on. <clears throat> Meaning I could just look at him in one second. I could tell you what size he is. I give him the pants. He walks over towards the bathroom. There's one of those thin tables by the bathroom. And he takes off the scarves that are tied around his waist, which this is like a two-minute job. Meaning he's got knots of scarves going around his waist and around his waist, just what he's doing at the time. It's just what he's wearing? Yeah, yeah, over his pants. Okay. He's wearing scarves, and he's tying the scarves around his knees and, you know, right. all that stuff that you see. Anyway, he takes it off, lays it on this table, takes the pants, goes into the bathroom. Two minutes later, he comes back out with his original pants on, and he's got the pants that I gave him to try on, he says, make them all like this, meaning he's saying, don't measure me, don't touch me, whatever. Make them all like this. Mm. Fine. Meaning he's shy. And those pants fit him, but these are tight pants, and they're tight partially because they're seamed down the front and back, and I can get away with it, meaning we're getting known for this look of these pants with the buttons down the side and all that. Mm. Um but all I'm saying to you is that he could get through a situation later on in that day after he played. Now, 
myself, you know, a few other guys and girls or whatever are back at his room after the gig, you know, the, the reefers being rolled, we're smoking it, you know, half an hour goes by and everyone's looking around, they're hungry. You know, someone takes out a piece of paper and tries to take an order. Mm -hmm. You want a burger from the whatever downstairs or fries. The first person tries to do it. They can't write. They can't even spell their own name, <laughs> meaning they're too high. Second person too high. Third person too high. Finally, Jimmy says, give me the pet. He takes it. He asks, do you want a burger? You want a medium? You want fries? You want this? You want a Coke? You want... He had to have been a waiter at some point in his life, or he knew about this stuff. He wasn't ashamed of it or anything like that. This is what it took to do the job. He says, give me the paper, and he wrote, writes, gets the whole thing written out. They went and got the food. We ate the food. That was the end of that. But all I'm saying to you is that it's a very natural person, and that's what's coming across when he's telling me don't be hesitant to take and make something, anything to your fancy as long as it's specially made as art. He's telling me, Mike, go for it. Mm -hmm. Just go and enjoy it. Just go right. and make it. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the time. Don't worry <clears throat> about Jimi Hendrix. Don't worry about anything. Just go make some art and then send it to me and make a lot. Um, so all I'm saying to you is that this is a lesson in life of this is just another person with all the things that you have he may have a different set of talents and a different way of operating a little bit but and obviously a very different destiny so far in, in your life anyway um but all i'm saying to you is that he knew how to communicate on a record he knew how to communicate with some fool that's making his clothes in Tampa, you know, or St. Petersburg at the time. Um, so there's a beauty to just being natural. That's really what he was, you know, right. where a lot of us feel as though, you know, I can't be natural. I'm not, sp I, I got to play this part that's what the culture is telling me is proper or cool or... Yeah you know, whatever, right? you know, and what he's saying, just go for it, Mike, yeah. you know, do what you do. Right. That's why he chose you.